Always looking for the absolute best money glitches for GTA 5 Online, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on bell notifications, that way you never miss out on a future upload. Yo, what is up everybody, it's your boy, Jay Stone, and in today's video we're going to be talking about a pretty amazing facility car duplication glitch on GTA 5 Online. You're going to need the car that you want to duplicate stored inside of your facility, in this case a fully upgraded, fully maxed out Future Shock Issy. The dupes of this vehicle sell for roughly $1.8 million. You're also going to need one free elegy for every dupe that you would like to make stored inside of your facility and one stored in the back of your MOC. Alright guys, so let's begin. You're going to load into an invite only session with a friend. You want to have your friend to start up a quick job activity. He's going to open up his phone, go to quick jobs, go down to activities and start up arm wrestling with friends in session. After 12 seconds he should see where it says populate in the lower right hand corner. From here we need to be at the bunker and call out any random vehicle or any random motorcycle. It doesn't matter. You're going to set inside of it and face toward the bunker entrance. At this point you want to make your way to your friend's profile and click on join. Once you do it's going to pop up this alert on screen. We're going to decline this alert. Before we go on any further we need to prime the alert so we're getting that alert to pop up as quickly as possible so go back to your friend's profile and click join. It's going to pop up and decline it. Click join one more time, it's going to pop up and decline it. At that point we have the alert popping up as quickly as possible and this is exactly what we need. You're going to drive your car into the blue blip to pull into the bunker. As soon as the animation begins, double tap the PlayStation Home button, click join, accept the first alert. It'll give you a second alert, accept that one as well. It's going to pull you into the clouds and back down again. While on the entry animation, you want to open up the interaction menu and choose the option to kill yourself as quickly as possible. You'll get a glitched animation and you'll spawn nearby. At this point, you are now successfully glitched out and we're ready to begin duplicating cars. Meet up with your friend at your facility. Once here, call your mechanic and call out one of the free elegies from your facility. Have your friend to set in the passenger seat and you're going to drive into the facility. It's going to skip through the entry animation and you're immediately going to spawn inside of the facility. You immediately want to exit the vehicle, hop inside of another vehicle, and tap the gas to pull it out of the facility before your friend gets through the animation. If done fast enough, your friend's going to be stuck on a black screen. This is exactly what we want. From here, while you're setting inside of the vehicle outside of the facility, you're going to open up your phone, go to Quick Jobs, go down to Activities, and start up arm wrestling with friends in session. Once it begins populating, tell your friend to join in on you through the profile and accept through the alerts. That's going to spawn him inside of the facility completely invisible. At this point, open up your phone and go back over to Quick Job and click on it to end the Quick Job, then exit the vehicle, open up the Interaction menu, and go down to Vehicles and return the personal vehicle to storage and walk inside of your facility on foot. From here, you want to go hop inside of one of your free elegies. Once you're setting inside of it, tell your friend to set in the passenger seat. This is going to make your friend come back visible. Both you and your friend exit the vehicle, and now that your friend is visible, we can begin. Have your friend to walk up to the vehicle that we're duplicating and continuously tap triangle to reach for the door handle to try to open it. It's not going to allow him to open it. He wants to stay in that animation of trying to open the door handle. So he's just going to sit there and continuously tap triangle. While he's doing that, we're going to go downstairs and go to the vehicle management system and interact with it. From here, select the vehicle that we're duplicating, go over to one of the free elegies, and swap places with it. You're going to see that the vehicle is going to duplicate. Now you do want to keep in mind that the duplicate is going to be the one that he is spamming the triangle on, and the original is the one that shifted to the middle position. From left to right, this is vehicle slot number 1, vehicle slot number 2, and vehicle slot number 3, which is now the duplicate. From here, back off the vehicle management system and make your way outside of the facility on foot. Once you get outside, you're going to call your mechanic and you want to request the duplicate that you just made. Again, that's vehicle slot number three. So the third one down on the list. You're going to request it. It's going to be labeled as an elegy, and this is perfectly fine. Once it spawns in, hop inside of the elegy, call out your MOC, and drive to your MOC, pull it up to the back of your MOC, tap right D-pad to store it inside, accept the alert. Once you get the vehicle inside of it, you're going to hop back inside of the vehicle and pull it back outside of the MOC. Once you have this elegy back outside of the MOC, you can tell your friend he no longer has to press triangle. So he can stop pressing triangle at this moment. From here, because we're going to rinse and repeat this glitch over and over, you want to exit the elegy and leave it setting right there. Just hop inside of your MOC and pull it nearby your facility. Exit the MOC and walk inside of your facility on foot. Once inside of the facility, go hop inside of the vehicle that we duplicated, the one that your friend was tapping triangle on. Once inside of it, tap the gas to pull it out. Once outside of the facility, pull it up to the back of the MOC and tap right D-pad to store it inside. Once you have it inside, you can hop back inside of it and pull it out of the MOC. You're then going to drive it back up to the facility and pull it inside. Once you pull it inside, you should get the vehicle full alert. Once it gives you the option to swap it out with another vehicle, you're going to swap it out with the LG that's sitting right there in that exact parking space where you just took it from a moment ago. 
basically that's going to put your duplicate vehicle back inside of your facility and that's going to push that elegy back inside of the back of the MOC that way we can return with a rinse and repeat process now this rinse and repeat is very easy from here all you have to do is have your friend to go up to the vehicle that you want to duplicate and start spamming triangle on the door handle in the meantime we're going to go to the vehicle management system and swap this vehicle around with a free elegy it's then going to duplicate on your screen. From there, exit off the vehicle management system, tell your friend to keep tapping triangle, you're going to walk outside of the facility on foot, and then proceed from there. Call your mechanic and request the elegy that you just turned into a duplicate vehicle, pull it up to the back of the MOC, pull it inside, and pull it back out. From there, you'll leave the car setting outside and walk back inside of the facility on foot, and just rinse and repeat the process from there over and over again. But that's going to be about it for today's video. This is your brand new facility co-op car duplication glitch on GTA 5 Online. Now, if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please leave a comment down below letting me know it did. And if you haven't already, drop me a big fat like on today's video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, Jay Stone. And I'm gone.